jumla ya watu walioambukizwa virusi vya corona hapa nchini imefika 16668 leo baada ya watu 667 zaidi kudhibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo wagonjwa hao wapya wanajumuisha wa Kenya 657 na raia kumi wa kigeni wa umri wakati ya mwezi mmoja na miaka mbili. Watu kumina moja zaidi wamefariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo COVID-19 na kufikisha miambili sabina nne jumla ya watu waliwaga dunia kutokana na ugonjwa huo hapa nchini. Watu miatatu kumina moja wamerusiwa kuondoka hospitalini baada ya kupona kikamilifu. Wizara ya Afya imehimiza watu wenye magonjwa ya kudumu kutokatiza huduma za kufanyiwa uchunguzi wa matibabu mara kwa mara ikisema hali hiyo huwaweka katika hatari zaidi ya kukumbwa na matatizo iwapo wataambukizwa virusi vya corona. Katibu Mkuu Mwandamizi wa Wizara ya Afya Masi Mwangangi ambaye aliongea wakati wa vipasho vya kila siku kuhusu ugonjwa wa COVID-19 alielezea wasiwasi kuwa wengi wa wagonjwa wamekosa kufanyiwa uchunguzi wa matibabu wa mara kwa mara tangu kuzuka kwa janga la corona. We've seen a drop in outpatient visits by about 30%. And what this means is that majority of our people are no longer visiting health facilities for HIV testing services and therefore there's a decline in knowing the true status when it comes to HIV. Mwangangi amesema kiwango cha maambukizi ya virusi hivyo hapa nchini kimepanda huku watu 667 wakithibitishwa kuwa na virusi hivyo kutoka kwa sampuli 1575. From the cases 657 are Kenyans whereas 10 are foreigners. 393 are male and 274 are female. And the youngest one is a one month old infant while the oldest is 92. Watu 11 zaidi wamefariki kutokana na ugonjwa wa COVID-19 hapa nchini na kufikisha mbili, sabini na nne jumla ya watu waliofariki kutokana na ugonjwa huo. And what was striking for me today as we reviewed this mortality data is that we've actually lost a child due to rickets. And I found it necessary to really highlight this today because even as we impose physical distancing, even as we say stay at home, then it means that if our children are staying at home, particularly those who live in apartments or areas where there are no fields and it means that there is a risk when it comes to rickets wakati huo huo msemaji wa serikali sara soguna amedhibitisha kuwa anatibiwa kutokana na virusi vya corona kwenye kitandazi chake rasmi cha twitter kanali oguna amesema baada ya kutoka kazi nje ya nairobi alihisi dalili kidogo zilizofanana na virusi vya corona na akapimwa matokeo yakaonyesha alikuwa na virusi hivyo Wataalamu wanawaonya wa Kenya dhidi ya unyanyapaa kwa wagonjwa wa COVID-19 wakisema jambo hili linachangia wagonjwa wengi kutojitokeza hasa wanapopata dalili kali za corona. Purity Musewa Darubini Nairobi.